man. You got to choose up, man. You know what I mean? Whatever you do, choose up. I mean, these are just my confessions. This is just my confession, man. Man, how y'all doing, man? I, I, I've been talking about me a lot, you know what I mean? You know, maybe I seem a little selfish, you know what I mean? But, you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, sing your confessions, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta sing your confessions. So, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm from the wood, I'm from LA, I'm from... Man, you know what, man? Let me tell you something about, about my confessions, man. Uh, I ain't gonna tell you my bro's name, but I ran into a brother from Ghana. I ran into a brother from Ghana today, man, and uh, you know, he was like, where you from, man? I said, man, you know what I mean? I'm an Indian, man. I'm an indigenous one, man. It's hard to be religious when you are indigenous and you know it's been brought on you, you know. Knowing that you are indigenous to this earth, Specifically, if we're talking about a, a slither, a slither of our history, you know what I'm saying? We were put into captivity. Yeah, I mean, but I ran to the bro from Ghana. He's like, where you from? I said, I'm an Indian, man, you know what I mean? I'm talking Chickamauga. I'm talking Tecumseh. You know what I mean? I'm talking the War of 1812. I'm talking the comet, the dragon. I'm talking Napoleon's comet, man. Napoleon's dragon, man. Well, you know, not Napoleon's dragon, but Napoleon. They call it Napoleon's comet. Because that's when, you know, Napoleon was invading Russia and he got ran up out of there by some, you know, real unique type of fire. That's all I'm talking about, man. Uh, Napoleon, you know. Big, bad, little Napoleon, you know what I'm saying? You know, being where I'm from, you know, and, you know, it, it being as real as it is, and, you know what I mean, everything is real, you know, that's real. It's like, either you feel this shit or you don't, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm, just, I'm just giving you my confessions, man, because either you feel this shit or you don't. I'm talking Napoleon's Comet, man. I'm talking 1812. I know y'all thought I forgot about this, man. I'm talking Napoleon's Comet, man. Now, the crazy thing about Napoleon's Comet is it's also Tecumseh's Comet, man. And Tecumseh is this, what they call a shiny warrior. When you, re when you really dig on, you know, the documents, man, and, you know, dig on the whole Tecumseh series on YouTube. Look, man, if you if you on IG and you ain't surfing the wave on YouTube, well, all the shit we put down, man, over the past few years, you know what I'm saying? Get over there, man. And if you on the tube viewing this, man, what it do, man? Because you know what it is, man. Hey, man, what it do, J. Stu, man? I see you, man. I, I know you over there kicking back, man. What it do, J. Stu? J. Stu, man, is the portal, man. I mean, J. Stu's, you know, I want to call it J. Stu's work, man, because he put that work in. Uh, you know, getting out there to Utah, man, you know what I mean, him, you know, K Stu, you know what I'm saying, man, they went out there, man, and they put that mark down, man, I'm talking V Perkins, I'm talking Mario Shalice, man, I'm, I'm talking the real ones, and because they was out there, we was able to see how they was moving, man, and be like, yo, we gotta make this a permanent thing, man, and that's when we... You know what I'm saying? Love to hire him, man. Love to AD. You know what I'm saying? That's when we said, man, we got to make our mark, man. And went ahead and bought that land, man. So, obviously, you got to be on the low, low. Obviously, you know, it is what it is. But our people, man, buy that land, man. Land is for sale everywhere. Arizona, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, man, it ain't, you know, I'm from Cali, but it's all, it's all the same. It's all land, it's all, it's all us, man. Buy your land, man. I, I know you want that thing and that thing, but you could buy like, you could buy like five, ten, you could buy five acres of land for less than ten racks, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just saying, before you spend ten racks, think about it, man. You know, think about it. You, you buy that home, but you... 
you don't really own that home, you know what I'm saying? I mean, for the most part, the bank owns it until you finally pay it off. And when you do pay it off, it's like, do you own the land that the home is on? I had a real big uh, debate slash conversation with one of my homies, man, you know what I mean? In the realest times of my life, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking like, you know, you know what I mean? Like behind that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like behind the wall. You know what I mean? Behind the wall, man. And one of my homies, man, shout out to RJ. You know what I mean? From Compton, man. Homie from Carver Park. And out in Compton, man. Yeah, hey, man, look, man. I was like, man, do you do you actually own the land that the home is on? And, you know, he was like, yeah, man, you own the land, man. It comes with the contract. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just playing with it, man. But, you know, I'm just like, look, man, you know, you... <laughs> You know, dog, dog damn shit when it comes to that land, man. Talking about that contract shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, these motherfuckers contract this shit. Unless you go out and buy fucking land, man. You know what I mean? Then you could, you could be indigenous, man. You ain't got to be no foreigner to this country, man. Like, you from here, man. You know what I mean? I don't, again, go back to the homie from Ghana. Had a great conversation with the homie. He's a, secu he's a security guard. He's going back to Ohio. Not sorry, not back to Ohio, but he's about to move to Ohio. Like, you know, look, man, he's a he, he's a security guard, and he was like, yeah, everything's too too violent out here. Like, he he had a couple security guard homies that, you know, unfortunately got hit in action, man. You know what I mean? Lost their lives, man. So you know, he's really feeling that. I'm like, look, man, you know, gang banging like people gang banging in Ohio. You know, I mean, this ain't. And then, you know, this ain't the 80s when shit's just getting popping in L.A. Like, it, there's, there's violence everywhere, man, you know. But, you know, we was talking, but he was like, where you from? And I said, look, man, I'm from here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they found me here, man. He said, that's right. He said, you're the real American. Look, man, we be having these conversations with the homies all the time, man. And I tell them, man, like, just because the, they're teaching you and they're his, they're his story books and in public school that you just got here on this continent, you just got off a boat, and your fucking history just started in fucking the slave trade and shit. Just keep reconning, man. Keep researching, man. Like, who got the cap on the research, man? Ain't nobody got the cap on that, so just go. Go for it. You can't be mad at Drop Nation because we saying, like, break down the walls, break down the barriers, man. Then what do you got? What's, what's left standing after you break it all down? Empty your cup. What did Bruce Lee say? Be water. What's left standing after you break it all down? That's all we saying, man. It's alchemy, man. Like, you, you keep burning up the shit until you see what's fucking left, man. There is a creator of whatever system you in, man, unless you created it. And I could rock with that because I believe that energy is all connected. So you are your creator, man. You know, it's like dreadlocks on the same, going back to the same root. There ain't no separation. And religion taught us that there's separation. You know what I'm saying? Religion taught us that, you know what I mean? Something has to come between you and this and you always gotta, put this trilogy together man you are he you are she you are it you know what i mean you are your frame and your shape it ain't nothing come between it and that's why we rock on on the david you know what i'm saying straight from the script hamashiach jeremiah 30 david will be raised again you know what i'm saying hosea 3 and 5 you will seek your creator and david we don't have to fucking make up a whole fucking lesson on the shit you could just read it and dig on it you know what i'm saying we ain't got to make up oh no no that's the seed of david and da, 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 da. you could just dig on it man you could just dig on it man we're talking priest king so that means according to linguistics or philology you're gonna have to dig on prester john because that's priest one prester one you know what i'm saying wong Khan. It's not one man, man. Prester John's never been one man. Is it man at all? Are we talking energy, frequency, vibration? Are we talking Dragon. 
So if you're digging on your Dragon Quam, you got to dig on Prestacon John. Don't get it twisted in the English spell that you're talking about one person. That's why I was just talking to, talking to one of my bros on IG who kept saying that Preston John was Menelik, the son of the union of Solomon and Sheep. But like, Preston John ain't one person, man. And if they're making it one person in, in so-called Ethiopia, it's because so-called Ethiopians hijacking the priest king.